Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for, of course, the Divine Feminines, okay? So DF High Priestess Empress Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, honey, you can go ahead and get out, okay? <laughs> I love it every time. All right, so let us go ahead, y'all. Light this sage up. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing well, all right? In the event that you are not, I pray we can go ahead and transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of everybody involved, honey, okay? Because it is not just about us. We want everybody to be well, right? Blessings, right? All right, so let us go ahead, you guys, and see what the messages are that Spirit has here. For the twins, thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much for everything that you do. We are so grateful, eternally grateful, Spirit, for everything. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right, let us see. All right, what is this? Some sage. We have move on, all right? So you guys are definitely thinking of moving on, okay? That's the energy that's here because I said, you know, like you're over something, okay? Sigh. Yeah, we have caution. You feel like you're being, you know, told to pause, wait a minute, you know, do not pass go because I feel like you guys have been thinking of going closer to this person. Um, the last reading or the reading before last, it was saying Divine Feminine was going to pop up on Zaddy, right? I don't think it's the time to do that, okay? <laughs> I don't think it's the time to do that, sis. Okay, we got car flying out here. It says gambling, all right? Yeah, because somebody is still gambling, okay? I feel like, first of all, this card mentions bad finances, okay? So somebody, mm, I don't know. It, it, Spirit is saying they're gambling you. That's the way I always get this card. I never get it like a person is like gambling their finances. I don't know. <laughs> but it says intimacy. Yeah, see, they're gambling with you or they're gambling with their life. Oh, that's so good. All right, so somebody's doing something. They might be just out here in these streets. That's what I would take that as. But gambling and intimacy? Mm. It says sexual chemistry reminiscing. Okay, so it could be a lot of that going on. Now, like I always tell you guys, intimacy is not always about just sexual things, right? Like intimacy can be so many other things besides physical interactions, okay? Like seriously. Um, mental intimacy or stimulation, right? Mental stimulation can be a form of intimacy. It's my favorite form. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you can't talk to me, we can't have a conversation then. My little fucker, forget it. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't know, but hey, you know, this card only speaks about sexual things. Just like this, it's talking about money, but I'm not getting that right now. I'm getting this person is gambling you or they out here gambling with their life. What's underlining here? Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. I feel like you need to see more from this person. I feel like they need to show you that they really love you for real. They need to show you they really freaks with you for real before you just be out here giving yourself to them. That's what I'm getting from spirit, yeah. Now, I know a lot of people be like, oh, I never did anything with them. Well, this is probably not your reading. Or like I said, it's not referring to, you know, sexual intimacy, but just intimacy, period. Before you give this person more of yourself, give it time, right? Because it says everything in divine timing, let things flow. So... Hmm. I feel like don't force it, right? If the person is not turning you on, don't force yourself to be turned on. You get what I'm saying? Like, if it's not your speed, it's not your speed. You know, I just heard in my head Beyonce when she's like, come harder, this won't be easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if they thought you were easy and you're just, you're not stimulated, you're not pleased because for you, it's a mental thing and they're not giving you that or something. Like I said, it, it's something here where you just, you need more. All right. So let us see. Not gonna beat the dead horse, y'all. <laughs> Let us see. Yeah, see, we got secret desires cutting up. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Mm, you saw it but ignored it. Hmm, let us see. It's something here. Like this person might rush or they might. I don't know. It's something here that you guys see, but if you ignore it, you'll regret it later. Okay. So yeah, we have trust issues. Okay. It's something here you don't trust. It's for a reason. You don't, you feel that? We have money concerns. So something about money. Now, some of you might feel used or feel like the person is trying to use you is another thing that's coming out here. It could be something because of a karmic cycle that they have going on. I did see karmic and then we have the shut up poor card. 
y'all know how I feel about this. This is my card for a person that just talks too much, meaning gossip. You get what I'm saying? Somebody who's always gossiping about something that has nothing to do with them. So I feel like it has created some sort of trust issues. You get what I'm saying? Between you and this person or this person and others. Somebody could have told everybody what they were going through or dealing with or something like that. I know it's coming out choppy, but that's how I'm getting it, okay? And now it's like it it prevents them from opening up to you. So I feel like if you're getting red flags about that, it's a reason. The person is gambling with it, you know what I mean? Like, should they open up to you? Should they not? You know, going back and forth with it like that. We have secret desires here. They yearn for it because I've been saying that. You make this person feel like they're broken open, like they want to express themselves. They want to be vulnerable. But the reason they don't is because clearly here is somebody in the past gossiped or talked a little bit too much. You get what I'm saying? It's something like that. I don't know. But let us see. All right. Messages here for Divine Feminine. Okay, we have walk and meditation. All right, so you need to get outdoors. Okay, we have loyalty. Yeah, I've been telling you guys, this person really, truthfully appreciates your loyalty. That's why I said this shut up poor card obviously is not for you. You're not the one who's gossiping. They really want to open up to you. They want to talk to you about something. But I feel like, yeah, they were dealing with a really, really dark energy here. Because it says uh, metaverse, okay? Now, but on this card, it's the witch card, yeah. But this card in particular is someone who, like, actually does things with, like, liquids and chemicals and other shit. You get what I'm saying? And I said chemicals. That just came to mind. That's funny because I mentioned a few weeks back that some of these masculines were getting something put in their food. Like, they were being drugged in some way. You get what I'm saying? So, with this dance portal let go, I feel like you guys have been guided to let go of this person or at least be at a standstill from this person for the time being because of like i said other things they have going on i feel like over time you will see what you need to see about the situation and then from that point yeah because we have bliss all right trust so this person trusts you your loyalty is something about you in the midst of the chaos that they're going through you give them some sort of peace and feeling of like balanced yeah, because you're the divine counterpart. Harmony. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's see what else we get here. Okay, we have spirit. Okay, act. And we have Oshun. Okay, justice. And you know how she deals with the lovers. Okay. Orisha Oshun. Okay. Hood love community. This is what I'm getting. You're in tune with spirit, right? Like whoever I'm talking to, you are like a light worker, right? Whoever this other person is, right, is really dark. So we're being told to trust what it is that we're seeing and what it is that we're feeling. Divine Feminine, you're very intuitive. So it's not just me. I know you guys can read this too. You might read it different than I do, of course, because none of us are the same. That's what makes us so special right and so freaking amazing but i feel like you guys see what i'm talking about here so we could just go ahead and keep it rocking i feel like one of you is in tune with spirit you get what i'm saying the other one this karmic individual they're like you know on some dark shit yeah see we got all right urzuli okay which says pay attention now she protects mothers okay she protects mothers oshun lovers you get what i'm saying so and then, yeah, see, look, seduction, this, this person, they work with dark energy. All right. So trust, pay attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice what it is that you're seeing. That's why they say, give it time. You're going to see something. You're going to see what it is that you need to see. Yeah. We have animal energy, which is the channel card. You are a clear channel. You are very in tune with spirit. Like I said, yeah. Higher perception, passion. You're very in tune. All right. Very passionate individual. All right. And then we have abracadabra connect. Yeah, super connected, y'all. Super duper connected to spirit. You are. You get what I'm saying? Super connected. So you know that this person has some things going on that they're not discussing with you. I feel like bits and pieces of it has been coming out in the readings that we've been doing. Okay. So let us see. Let us see what's going to come out in the tarot. I'm interested now. Very, very much so. <clears throat> 
I'm like, let's move all of this to the side. Yeah, I want to put this give it time here. I seen date night. All right, so it's something that's going to come out. Now, this person might want to take you out and discuss these things with you or what have you, hunty. I really want to get into the situations cards too. I can't even lie. Yeah, we have Karmic and we have Archangel Michael. So like I said, you're being protected. All right, now your divine masculine may be protecting you. All right, until they do whatever they feel like they need to do. Okay, or something like that. So mm, that's how I'm getting it, y'all. But let us see. All right sheesh okay so we have interview lost okay mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so this person wants to tell you you're not able to receive this communication because you blocked them or you you're not talking to them so even if they've been contacting you you see it you just haven't been responding they're not blocked but you you're not responsive okay non-responsive about this mother we got tragedy okay forbidden love so the reason you're not speaking to this person is because you look at it like well you're dealing with that person like i said earlier deal with that person but with irreconcilable differences they're actually breaking it off with someone i keep saying someone like we don't know it's a damn karmic you get what i'm saying but <laughs> They're breaking it off or it's been broken off, okay? And like I said, this person, this karmic, they're into some dark things. So we have gossip, petty, jealousy, envy. But I feel like you're connected to spirit, so you're not worried. You're connected to spirit and you have like powerful connections in the spiritual realm. You get what I'm saying? So you're truly not worried. You get what I'm saying? So it's something here. Like I think the person is upset, the karmic, okay? Not that you would care, but yeah, so they're trying to paint a different picture of you to your masculine. It's like they've tried to flip the roles. You get what I'm saying? Or, or something like that um, is what I'm getting. And for a minute, whatever it was that they were giving to them, whatever this drug was, whatever this was in their food, whatever it was, because they definitely mentioned chemicals. And I think that's mad wild. But that's the kind of energy that this person is on. Like, even if you call yourself a quote unquote witch, right? I feel like a witch is more of what they would say with the dark title energy or what have you. However, you get what I'm saying? You have light witches like they always say right which would be light workers right um uh, which would be your intention you work with different things you might know how to work with both hands maybe but this person doesn't work with light at all they're very 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 dark um this could be someone who at one point in time was a lost soul you get what i'm saying and no offense to anybody who was but obviously if you are on this side you made it to some sort of light this person never went to the light unfortunately they were just sucked in into the darkness and then they came across your person and sucked their ass into the darkness too you get what i'm saying and this is why spirit is protecting you um so the person is getting really triggered every time they see your name come across this person's phone or every time they mention you or somebody mentions you you know they might see a car that looks like yours if this person ever seen your vehicle because they're giving me very stalkerish type of vibes who knows um or if they you know know where you work or anything like that just be mindful because like i said people don't pretend to be crazy right so if they're crazy they crazy for real but you be crazier like just make sure you protect yourself <laughs> yeah i know how i feel about that all right so this is somebody who might want you to stop talking to this person or it's something like that the person fucks with you because they appreciate your loyalty so it's like you guys fuck with each other for the same reason but i guess the karmic doesn't like it you get what i'm saying or something like that that's how it's coming out we have crushed okay but when you don't when you're not in contact with this person, you don't talk to them. They feel crushed. You're your divine masculine. And we have intervention because that's, hello, they don't want to be around that person. They love you. You know what I'm saying? It just so happens they got caught up and they got stuck and now they're there. You get what I'm saying? And it keeps coming out like that. So for all of you who are with your divine counterparts or all of you who are in healthy, happy relationships, then you know this is not your reading. But for those of you who are in separation from your divine counterpart due to you being somewhere else, them being somewhere else, or whichever the case may be, then these these are your readings that's been coming out lately, okay? I have a lot of people that are subscribing. Thank you guys for that. Appreciate all of the love. And I feel like this is what people are going through, you know? And we're not here to judge. We're here to help, right? So that's what I'm getting, y'all. All right, so we have meeting, okay? So it's two or more people, discussions, and planning. Like I said, today. This is how they feel today. How do they feel? They want to meet up with you. They want to talk. Why? Because... You, you're an obsession of theirs. You're something they feel like they have to have. They don't give a damn if this person is upset. They don't care if they're mad. They don't care 
what spell they put on them. They don't care. And I feel like this person has like done something as to where if they leave, then their money going to be fucked up forever or some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So they're like, damn, I can't have fucked up money for the rest of my life. So I guess I just got to stay with this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. Um, it's crazy. It's like, what is you doing, shorty? It's never that deep. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's never that deep. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you have to do all of that to force somebody to be with you, then, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? <laughs> IDK, my BFF Jill, because I don't see Divine Feminine doing no damn spell work and rituals and masculine still just naturally drawn to you. Because you don't, I mean, that's your masculine. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to flip it and make it seem like you're the karmic, but you're not the one doing the spells and shit. You didn't come out with the the chemicals bubbling. You get what I'm saying? Like, the hell? And they keep saying chemicals. They didn't say potions. I know what a potion is. They said chemicals. <laughs> All right, so please do not be in my comment section trying to correct me when I know exactly what I meant because I said what I meant and I meant what I said. They said chemicals, so. Mm. All right, let us see. Yeah, we got temperance. Look at them mixing the chemicals and the moon. That's the truth. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Lord D, look at this energy. They don't want you to know certain things. They don't want you to say certain things. They might not want me to say certain things. They're probably trying to shut me up with that shut up horror card. Ah. That's hilarious. All right, let us see. Okay, we have Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Person trying to get a plan together. Yeah, you know that, though? That's why it said give it time. Yeah, I've seen the Ace of Wands here. They're recognizing themselves as the magician. I've been saying that. So they're just waiting on the right time to end this cycle in this situation they're getting their plan together getting everything together because this person they know they're sneaky they know they can't trust them but they do know they can trust you they know this person has been trying to misconstrue the truth or you get what i'm saying we have the non swords here they're a little anxious they're a little worried about how you will feel about this truth but with the high priestess energy coming out you already know this this is not a surprise you hearing this news is like oh yeah girl yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. She did magic on him. Yeah, girl. Like, this is confirmation. It's not a surprise for you. It's not news. So, we have the Eight of Cups here. They're going to be walking away from that situation and from that person. Six of Wands. They realize where they want to be. Okay? And it is with you. But I also feel like this person, this karmic, they know that too. Yeah, the death card. Um... This person does like chaos magic and stuff like that um, to try to prevent this person from being with you because they know that the person loves you. It's like they feel like something is missing. Eight of Cups, right? So you're like, damn, something is missing from this picture. Let me go and find what it is. Oh, yeah. It's the fact that, you know, I love <laughs> feminine, you know, King of Cups. That's the missing that's the missing cup that's the missing thing so with the sun card here it's like okay that's my happiness that's my joy let me go and tell them two of wands if i have to choose between this one or that one i'm gonna choose this one because with you it's freedom it's peace it's comfort it's everything that we've been seeing so the magician they're trying to you know manifest that into their physical reality you they see you as somebody who's very independent you're not needy you're not out here with your hand out you get what i'm saying you're not trying to wish that bad upon that person they just see you as a good person and that's drawing them more to you. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. I guess she's just going to be upset. Because <laughs> you've you're not a mean person. You've never said or done anything mean or nasty. You get what I'm saying? So for her to feel anything like that towards you would just be like ridiculous or hurting. Because it's like, girl, bye. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> So, yeah, we got the five of wands. One person is just into like chaos magic and they're this and they're that. But the other person here, which is you, you know, you have divine protection. So it doesn't matter how much chaos magic they throw at you. It's like, come on nine times. I'm already ready on motherfucking 13 times. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm already steps ahead. Don't play. You get what I'm saying? Type shit. And so they just heartbroken. Three of swords. But, you know, you wouldn't want nobody to be heartbroken. But it's like they're breaking their own heart because they're trying to play with you. 
But you don't play with God's children. <laughs> you play with somebody else. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, four swords. You're at ease. You're chilling, minding your damn business. So let's see what this seven of swords is all about. Even though I already said what it's about. This is some some deeper. Yeah, like I said, full card. To come toward you. Have that brand new beginning. What the hell? Temperance. What is this? Divine timing, yes, but is this old girl mixing chemicals? What is this? Two of swords. So, yeah, and think that the masculine don't know. The masculine is very much so aware of who his counterpart is, Queen of Cups. Remember, he showed up as the King of Cups before? Yeah. So, when it comes to the two, masculine is like, oh, I already know which one it is. You get what I'm saying? That's not a question. I already know who and what and all of that. You get what I'm saying? Somebody tried to take control of the masculine emperor in reverse. But with the magic and stuff they were doing. But he sees the truth. He knows the truth. Look, King of Cups, Ten of Cups. I'm not making it up. they like, I already know. I already know everything. I know what's going on. I know somebody did magic on me. The magician and the high priestess, more counterparts. You get what I'm saying? I already know. So that's what I see here. Sheesh, this was a crazy reading, y'all. Okay, let's get some love messages. And then wrap it up. We have, I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. I'm afraid of hurting you. Oh. Okay. And I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Oh. Underline the energy here is, I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. Oh. How sweet. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair